So here I have my copper piece. It's already outlined and ready to go with the embossing. Uh, if you want a little bit more information on how I do the embossing, I will post a link to that video down below. Otherwise, I am just going to speed up this process. Now that I have the piece embossed, I'm going to cut it to the size of the frame. And right after I do that, and I feel it's fitting right in the frame, I'm going to do the liver of sulfur process, which once again, if you don't know too much about it, um, I'll have the video linked uh, in the bottom on how I did that process before. My copper piece has been all dried. I'm going to take sandpaper and sandpaper the raised bits and clean it up a bit. for the second process. Um, I'm going to start off by cleaning my copper piece well so there's no oils or anything on it. And now I'm going to apply, that's supposed to be salt and vinegar, um, basically salt and vinegar, onto the places I'm going to want to have the blue patina. Uh, for this piece, I kind of went overboard. I wanted the blue everywhere, which you'll realize later that maybe it was overkill, but I definitely wanted to see what it was capable of doing, because it was kind of an experimental piece for me. So I, I had fun. So you'll see that I'm applying vinegar with a Q-tip and then salting, and I just keep doing that all over. Now that we have the vinegar and salt on, we're going to need a container, which I just used two bowls and a stainless steel rack to put the metal piece on. So what you're going to want to do is pour the ammonia on the bottom, making sure not to hit the top of the tray, and then put your piece on top of it because it's the fumes from the ammonia that's going to create this beautiful blue color. So after 24 hours, this is what I have. So now it's going to be the cleaning up process of it.
now that I'm done cleaning it up, I need to spray it with clear acrylic to keep the color. Uh, even though it was sprayed, it still became a lighter blue, but it was still very pretty. Um, I sprayed it a couple of times afterwards too, just to try and keep that color from fading too much, but pretty much what you see is the color it stays. And after I sprayed it down, once I decided to use acrylic to try to make the flowers and the branches pop a little bit. I don't know if that was a good call or not but I like I said I was just experimenting and seeing where it would go. Um, I don't think it turned out too bad but uh, you know feel free to do whatever. It's, it's your thing. <laughs> 